Good morning. Welcome back to the homestead. Glad you could make it. On my agenda this morning, I'm going to raise the screens that I put in two of the cottages. The screens are too long, um, so I'm going to take a piece of five quarter by five lumber, split it down the center, and uh, nail it or screw it into two of the cottages, raising the mount point, header point up so that when the screen hangs it just touches the bottom or or so. That way it'll open and close like it's supposed to. Brenda won't trip over it when she goes in and out. I won't trip over it when I go in and out. And it won't mess up the screen. So that's on the agenda. I grabbed my board. I've got to grab my saw and a couple of scrap pieces I think to raise it up so I don't cut the table. <laughs> so I just cut the board. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Let's get started. I need to set my blade depth so that it just goes through the wood so I don't cut the little blocks um, in half. All right, I've got the two boards I need. Um, this, this is not a precise thing. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're never going to see it. It's up high inside, and the screen will amount, will, will amount to it? No, the screen will mount to it. <laughs> anyway, so you won't really see the board. I need to go get a couple of screws and a driver and attach them. I think the way I'm going to do this, I'm not sure. I guess I'll probably just measure from the floor up to the height I need. I think that's what I'll do. Or I'll attach the screen to the board and then put it up where I need it to be. I'm not sure. We'll find out when we get there. Alright, I'm going to measure this screen so that I know the length of it. So I know where to, so I know where to put this bar. This bar will go something like that. Just long enough to catch four screws, that's good. Alright, it's 81 inches long. Probably be really good if I had a pencil about now. I am going to take this screen down before I do this, I think. It all has to readjust anyway, so I might as well. That's a lot better. I can, I can see better. I know you can't see very well on this camera and I'm sorry for that. But if I have it on the outside, you'll be able to see the outside of the building really well, but nothing I'm doing. Um, hopefully we can adjust um, color, that kind of thing, so that it won't be so blacked out. And I hope you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just going to put the two screws in there. I don't really need four. It's not supporting any real. It's not supporting any real weight, so um, it should be fine. I'm going to need a blade. I've got some tacks holding that uh, strip up, so it sticks on, but it doesn't stick very good to bare wood. So I put some little brass tacks up there to hold it. I'm going to need a knife to get under there. Prime loose. I'll be right back. I 
I will reuse the tacks um, to hold that up. I just want to make sure it's at the right height. like it's supposed to. Got one more to do. I'm going to see if I can do something about the lighting on the next one. I apologize for the lighting on this one. Let's get to it. Okay, the smart guy that I am, I uh, forgot to turn the camera on, but I did put the beam up, or the board up, you can see that. I also test fitted with the, uh, the Velcro, but now I need to go get a staple gun so that I can ensure that the Velcro won't come down. Velcro really strong so it'll hold the, uh, the the screen curtain up no problem I just need to make sure it doesn't fall down so I'll be right back and we'll staple that up there Okay, that takes care of that. Hope you can see it a little better. Thank you for watching.